Hello students. In this video, I am going to discuss some higher order thinking skill question on Hiron's formula. Let us discuss the problems. This is the first problem. In this problem, find the longest altitude of a triangle whose sides are 15 meter, 11 meter, and 6 meter. Now students, in this question, it is asked to find the longest altitude of a triangle and sides are given to you. For understanding this concept, you know that the area of a triangle it is always equals to half base into height. And we want to find out here the altitude height of a longest altitude of a triangle. For this we have a A into 2. It is divided by B by cross multiplication. It means base will decide the altitude is the biggest or smallest. Now students for longest altitude this base should be smallest it means out of a 15 11 and 6 the base should be the smallest one so we can find the altitude of a triangle by considering 6 meter as a base for that we have to find out area of a triangle first so students in the first step we'll find the area of this triangle by using Hiron's formula and then we compare this with a half base into height by considering base as 6 meter. So let us start the problem. We have a 3 sides are 6, 15 and 11. We will find semi perimeter. Semi perimeter is 16. Then the area of a triangle will be S, S minus A, S minus B and S minus C. Substituting the value of S 16, 16 minus 15, 16 minus 11 and 16 minus 6. By solving this you get 16 into 1 into 5 into 10 and in the next step after pairing we will get 20 root 2 meter square that is the area of this triangle as I discussed earlier here area of this triangle is 20 root 2 we use the formula half base into height now students since we have to find the biggest altitude the base will be smallest which is 6 so half 6 into h is 20 root 2 by cross multiplication value of h is equals to 20 root 2 upon 3 meter. Now students in any case if the question asked here find the smallest altitude in this case the base would be the biggest one. Let us try another problem. In this question the perimeter of a rhombus is given 120 meter. Find the length of altitude of a rhombus if one of the diagonal is 48 meter. Now student in this case here a rhombus is given to you. First of all we will find the sides of a rhombus and the length of a diagonal is given 48 meter. Then we are going to compare area of this rhombus with the general formula of area base into height. First we find the area of this rhombus by using Hiron's formula. So let us start the problem. Let the side of a rhombus a meter perimeter is 120 so a comes to be 30 meter now we find the area of a triangle first for finding out the area of a triangle a b c it is 30 30 and 48 semi perimeter comes to be 54 then the area of a triangle is 50 50 minus 30 50 minus 30 and 54 minus 48 so we have 54 into 24 into 24 into 6 by simplifying this we will get the area 3 into 6 into 24 then the area for ABCD it will be 2 times of 18 into 24 now in the next step we will compare the area with base into height now base will be AB height altitude we are going to calculate This altitude we are going to calculate here. So AB into H is equal to 2 into 18 into 24. By simplifying this, the value of H is equal to 144 upon 5. Now let us try another problem. In this problem, the perimeter of a triangle is 50 centimeter. One side of a triangle is 4 cm longer than the smaller side. 
and the third side is 6 cm less than twice the smaller side. Find the area of a triangle. Now students in this case here, the second and third side they are always smaller and the bigger than of a smaller side. Smaller side will consider x. And the other sides are 4 cm longer means x plus 4. And the third side is 6 less than twice the smaller side. It means 2x minus 6. First of all we we'll find the value of x by using perimeter. The value of x comes to be 13. Then we find the sides. The sides will be 13 plus 4 17 2x minus 6 it will be 20. Once we find the side we will find the area of a triangle easily by using Heron's formula. Considering side 13, 17 and 20 semi perimeter is 25 then the area of a triangle is 25 25 minus 13, 25 minus 17 and 25 minus 20. So we get 25 into 12 into 8 into 5. 25 is a perfect square so its factorization will not find. Other terms we factorize. By all simplification we get 20 root 30 meter square. So that is the area of a triangle. Now student let us try another problem. In this problem question asked here find the area of a triangle whose perimeter is 42 cm one side is 18 cm and the difference of other two side is 4 cm. Now students for this problem one side is given 18 so a is equals to 18 we will consider and the other two sides the second side we consider x and the difference of our other two side is 4 the other will become 4 minus x it is x minus 4 a b is 18 b x c is equals to x minus 4 because difference of our b and c is 4 so you see that x minus x minus 4 it become equals to 4 difference become 4 perimeter is given 42 so we get 18 plus x plus x minus 4 finding x from here x is 14 then the sides will be 18, 14 and 10. Then we find semi perimeter which is 21 and the area of a triangle 21, 21 minus 18, 21 minus 10 and 21 minus 14. By simplification we will get 21 into 3 into 11 into 7. In next step after pairing we get 21 root 11 centimeter square. Now students let us try another problem. In this problem find the percentage increase in the area of a triangle if each side is doubled. Now students the situation given the question if each side of a triangle is doubled we want to find how much percent its area increase. Now let, let we try this question by considering a triangle to be an equilateral triangle. So let us consider an equilateral triangle whose side is A unit. We have an equilateral triangle whose side is A unit. If each side is doubled, the new side it will become 2 times of a A. If each side is doubled, then the new side becomes 2 times of a A. Now students, first we find the original area of an equilateral triangle which is A1 root 3 by 4 a square then we find the new area if the side is doubled we get root 3 by 4 2 times over a square for percentage increase in the decrease we have a formula difference in the area divided by original area into 100 so difference in the area means a2 is bigger than a1 we have a, a2 minus a1 divided by original area which is a1 into 100. We will substitute the value of a, a2. a2 will simplify 2a whole square become 4 times of a root 3 by 4 a square minus a1 into 100 divided by a1 which is root 3 by 4 a square. In the next step from the numerator root 3 by 4 a square is common. We left in the bracket 4 minus 1 into 100 divided by root 3 by 4 a square 
रूट थ्री बाय फोर ए स्क्र कैंसिल्ड फोर ए फोर माइनस वन वी गेट थ्री हंड्रेड दैट विल बी इक्वल्स टू थ्री हंड्रेड परसेंट सो दिस इज द परसेंटेज इंक्रीज इन द एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल एरिया विल बिकम डबल बट द परसेंटेज इंक्रीज विल बी थ्री हंड्रेड टाइम्स नो स्टूडेंट्स आई थिंक दीज आर सम हायर ऑर्डर थिंग स्किल क्वेश्चन क्लियर टू यू थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो